Hi, and welcome back to the MMDC. My name is Marpat Droid. I hope you all had an excellent new year and happy holiday season. I hope you enjoyed the break. Uh, I spent the break just kind of sitting, floating in space, pondering the big question that's been on everyone's mind. 318 when? Back when 318 was first announced, RSI said it was going to be a three-month endeavor in PTU to get it to a releasable state. And I have to say, based on the first two and a half weeks of my experience, I think they were right. It took me about three or four weeks just to get this footage that you're seeing now from the PTU. But between crashes with the client, the actual, my computer crashing and locking up, this process of getting to this playable state has been a very long and tedious one. And even inside this playable state, there are a ton of bugs, a ton of glitches, a ton of things that I think the Star Citizen community would lose their mind over if it made it to the Persistent Universe. That's not to say that 318's bad. To the contrary, I've really enjoyed the amount of time that I've been able to play. But I just don't think it's going to be ready at the end of January to be released to the PU in a state that people are going to want to play that is going to entertain old players and capture new players. The bugs in here are weird, they're pervasive, and they just don't make for a good gameplay experience. That's not to say the stuff that's been added hasn't been good. I mean, look at this canyon that I'm flying through right now. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The fact that I crashed my ship and then I can go back to my ship a later, you know, 10-15 minute flight, it is still there, I can salvage what's left of my ship and then sell that, is amazing. The, the salvage gameplay is a lot like coloring, it's something you can sit back and you can do, you don't really have to think about it, you just go and you do it. The persistent entity streaming, the fact that I know my crash is going to stay as long as the server itself doesn't crash. Uh, that was a really cool feeling, knowing I could go back and get my equipment. Flying through the new rivers that are out there. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at look at this terrain. Sure, there's a little bit of copy and paste that people complain about, but it just fits so nicely on these planets. The fact that other people's ships that have been abandoned because they died... They're there for you to go and strip the wrecks. There's so much good stuff in this patch. I just don't think that we're looking at a January launch release time frame. And I think as a player, someone who's invested time and money into this project, I'd much rather see them get up to a playability level that is 317.4, than rush this, put it out at the end of January, and have it not be as fun because of little things that could easily be worked through. And I think that's what we're seeing. Yesterday, RSI announced that they're going to have a 317.5 patch that's in Evocati right now. And I think that patch is going to buy them the time to go to at least the end of February before people start kind of just going crazy for 318 again. It's going to buy them the little bit of refinement time that they need. The development team at RSI isn't dumb. They know what their product is. They know what they're making. They need to make sure that they get everything right for this PU-PES launch. And part of that is taking time in the PTU, letting people run through this. I think the open PTU is a great idea. I think we should have open PTU sometime in the next week or two, just so we can get a massive number of people in there to test and run all these systems to ground before it hits the Persistent Universe. There is so much good content in 318, I would just hate for its launch to be overshadowed by a rush development cycle that isn't necessary. We've waited 10 years, we can wait another two months to make sure that we get the gameplay experience that we deserve. But what do you think? Have you been in the PTU? Have you tested it? Do you think it's stable? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
This is Marpatroid. Good Game America.